What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today we have runner's yoga. This is an awesome sequence for anyone who runs, jogs, walks fiercely. This pose is going to provide a lot of release and help you find what feels good. Let's get started. Okey-doke, today we're going to begin in a nice, comfortable seat, crossed at the ankles here. Take a second to get settled in. Sit up nice and tall. Find any movement here, a little sway back and forth that feels good. Maybe letting go of the day thus far and beginning to notice your breath. I think this is an important moment um, of the day and of your practice, just allowing, keyword, allowing. Uh, just giving yourself an opportunity to drop in, tune in, get settled in. And it's a little different each day, right? The image here is like taking some chalk in the hands or some chalk and throwing it up in the air and I'm watching the, de the dust settle here. That's for you sporty folks. If you're not a sporty folk, <laughs> you can imagine glitter being thrown up in the air. But just the idea that it takes some time as it drifts back and forth and down to the present moment. So just give yourself that practice of uh, allowing the dust to settle and just noticing where you are today. So I know this can be tough because we have oh so little time in our busy lives, but that's what uh, the yoga practice is all about. That's why this video isn't called runner stretching, you know, stretching for the legs. Um, we're, we're thinking full picture. Hmm, long lasting love with the mind and body. Here we go. So you might notice if you're agitated today or you're really tight. So I encourage you to find soft movement and that goes throughout today's practice. Begin to deepen your breath if you haven't already. Maybe checking in with some circles with the nose. And then just to kind of kickstart our practice here, we're gonna take three conscious breaths together. So go ahead and inhale in through the nose. Sit up nice and tall, full breath, full, full, full breath in. And then just let the exhale go naturally out through the mouth. Great, two more like that. Big conscious breath in, inhale, fill the lungs. And then on the exhale, it's just very natural to allow it to let go, release. You don't have to do anything. Last time, big breath in, sit up nice and tall. And let it go. Great. So we're gonna take the legs wide here. Keep a focus and attention on your breath best you can. Uh, legs are gonna come nice and wide here to your wide. So this will look and feel different for everybody, right? Based on where the muscles are today, uh, how you're dealing with your joints at this point of time and uh, your energy. So come to a nice wide legged um, seat. And again, it doesn't have to be super wide, it can be kind of narrow. And then just see if you can sit up nice and tall here. If you're feeling like the spine is rounding hardcore, go ahead and sneak that blanket or that pillow underneath. And press into the sitting bones, everyone sit up nice and tall. And then bring the hands to the tops of the thighs, uh, fingertips in, and we're just gonna gently press the tops of the thighs out to remind us to uh, find this external rotation. So for some, this will be a piece of cake. And so in that case, uh, I would recommend that you start really playing with your breath, maybe ujjayi. And if this is really tough for you to sit up tall, breathe deep still, find length through the neck, crown of the head, reaching up towards the sky. Nice little power pose here as we open through the chest, open through the heart. And then release the hands. And we're just gonna use the hands to guide the heels in for cobbler's pose. So the soles of the feet come together here. We stay conscious, connected through the sitting bones and the hands are gonna wrap around the ankles here. Big loop of the shoulders, forward, up and back. Inhale in, 
Exhale, glide the shoulder blades in and down the back body. Lots of space between the ears and shoulders here. Then that same external rotation you had in the tops of the thighs just a second ago, try to find that here. So the hands won't be there, but you can try to ground down through the tops of the thighs. Find your breath. Again, so we're not just hanging out here, but we're really activating through the quads. So drawing down through the tops of the thighs and drawing up through the midline, the plumb line. Again, you might find a little sway here if it feels good. Bring a sense of you, softness to these active postures. How can we do that? I think by staying conscious with the breath, and with practice. All right, inhale, lift the heart. Think up and over as you send your heart forward beyond your toes. What the heck does that mean? So we're not just rounding forward here, we're keeping length in the spine, elbows grounding down. So the image of the heart just reaching forward. My heart will go on. And then finally, tucking chin to chest, rounding everything forward. Draw your forehead towards your toes. Doesn't even have to come close. Breathe deep. Then anchor through your sitting bones once again to roll up. Tuck the chin to the chest. Should feel good, nice and slow. Why rush it? Feels good. Lift the heart. And exhale, release. Awesome work. All right, we're gonna come on to all fours and into extended child's pose, yay. Knees as wide as the yoga mat, big toes to touch. Walk the hands out, melt your heart down. Bring your attention, your awareness back to the breath. Close your eyes. See if you can make your inhalations longer, smoother as well as the exhalations, nice and long, really pushing out all the air. If you are a runner or a wannabe runner, you will soon learn that the relationship with your breath is key. One more deep breath in here. And then slowly pressing into the palms, we'll walk it back up, come to tabletop position on all fours. Knees underneath the hip points, wrists directly underneath the shoulders. Take a second to press away from your yoga mat with the palms. Then we'll curl the toes under on the right foot and slide it back. Little calf stretch here as you gently saw front to back. So gentle rock front to back. Again, no collapsing here, but pressing away from your yoga mat with the palms. Try to press into your right pinky toe. Keep breathing. And then switch. Curl the left toes, send it back. Same thing here. Try to press into that left pinky toe. And then reel it back into center, awesome. So now we're gonna send the right toes out, lift the right foot up, lift from the right inner thigh, and then just gentle pulses here. Then release, bend the right knee, step it all the way up into a nice low lunge. Walk the left knee back a little bit here. Check to make sure front knee is over front ankle so it's not going past. Then find your foundation and breathe here. Light on the fingertips. You might loop the shoulders, find length through the crown, and then imagine my heart will go on again here. So nice and open in the chest, not collapse. This is very common and very normal, <laughs> natural. So we're wanting to open this up, right? This is definitely gonna help our running game. Keep breathing here. Pull the right hip crease back. Again, if this is a piece of cake for you, you've already garnered flex flexibility, then you need to be working on your breath, sending big, big inhalations all the way down. 
And then exhale all the way up and out. So the first step, you know, often is just kind of learning the shapes and then it's really up to you to kind of go deeper and take care of your body and to apply the pranayama practice. Here we go, curl the left toes under if they are not already. We're gonna lift the hips up and back, rocking onto the right heel, big runner stretch here. So pulling back through the top of the right thigh bone. And then you can uncurl the back toes if it feels better. If the knee needs a little padding here, it's always a great idea to nurture that, maybe by flipping the mat, uh, rolling the mat if you need. Right toes up towards the sky. Here we go, my heart will go on. Find that length, inhale. And then exhale, fold. Chin to chest. Then really articulate through the right foot here. Spread the right toes. And then we're gonna roll through that right foot nice and slow. Great, from here we'll bring the palms to the mat uh, on the left side and we're just gonna give ourselves a little bit more space by walking the right foot out. So now we're coming into a lizard variation. This can be one tough cookie if you're tight in the hips. So breathe deep here. For now, right toes pointing forward. If you want more strength today, of course you can lift that back leg, but in honor of today's kind of deep and yummy yin-like theme, I'm gonna keep my back knee lowered, but you're welcome to lift. Take a deep breath in here. Find that extension through the heart. And then exhale, maybe we find ourselves coming onto the forearms here. Maybe you find yourself releasing the top foot. And then nice and easy, take it nice and slow. I'm just gonna walk the right toes out towards the right edge of my mat. Hmm. I'm gonna be here for some solid, yummy breaths. So stay present. Maybe close your eyes. Notice the sensations as you inhale and exhale. Take one more juicy breath in and out. Then connect to your center, your core, as you press into the palms and slowly, mindfully walk it all the way back. Okay, we're gonna take this right foot all the way over now. Nice and slow, slow and steady wind is a race. Coming into our one-legged pigeon. Keep a little awareness, or a lot rather, of awareness in the right foot. Keep the top of the back foot um, down, excuse me, root, rooting strong. And then here we go, loop the shoulders, find length. Breathe. And then maybe taking it forward. So we're staying in the postures a little bit longer today, so stick with your breath. If you find that you're just like fidgeting and waiting, very normal, very natural. So just keep bringing your attention back inward. Great, take one more nice full breath in and out. 
then activate navel to spine, connect to your center, your core muscles, and press it up nice and slow. We'll curl the back toes under, press into all 10 knuckles, come back to all fours. Same little ditty on the other side. Here we go. Big breath in, big breath out. This time send the left leg out, gentle pulses. Again, notice if you're collapsing here, can you press away from your yoga mat? This is a, a nice practice for runners because when we, when we develop a running practice or a jogging practice or even a regular walking practice, we wanna be able to have awareness from head to toe, right? One moving part. Then bend the left knee and draw it all the way up into your lunge. Keep the right knee on the ground, but you might walk it back a little bit. And then just check front knee over front ankle here, nice and stacked. Loop the shoulders, stay light on the fingertips. So notice that you're crashing into the fingertips, connect to your core, engage the belly. Breathe. You might come onto the top of that right foot, yogi's choice in that case. Nice, full deep breaths. And then pull the left hip crease back, think up and over as you send the hips back, coming onto the left heel. Again, top of the left thigh bone pulls back with the left hip crease. Runner stretch, big flexion in the left foot. Inhale, open your heart, find that extension. And then exhale, chin to chest. So I'd like to point out, notice that my right hip is stacked over my right knee. So I'm not coming all the way back here. All right, and then bringing the left hand around, coming into our lizard on the other side. Keep the toes pointing forward here for now, and then notice if you're gripping in the toes. It's kind of a, you know, as we begin to open the hips, uh, other things want to clinch, and so we're going to stay mindful and try to keep an awareness. Softness through the toes, even the jaw here. Find extension. Breathe. Pull the left hip crease back. Give yourself lots of space. So maybe walking that left foot to the outer edge of your left, left side of your mat. Big breath in, and then you know what to do here. Maybe use an exhale to come onto the forearms. Maybe you save that for another day. Work mindful. Stay connected to your breath. And then eventually we'll walk the left toes out and off the left edge. Breathe deep here. Again, you're welcome to curl the right toes under and spike the right heel back. If you do, really spike the right heel towards the back edge of your mat. Really brighten up through that left leg. So keep the hips lifted, engage your core. Otherwise, keep it nice and easy. Again, allowing for the release today, allowing for the body to restore. And allowing for the practice to you know, balance out your, your cardio or your your other workout. Zumba. And then connecting to your core to release, pressing back up into the palms. So even in our transitions, we're trying to create a full body experience, super important, right? And then walking the left foot over into our one-legged pigeon. Take your time, take your time. So your pigeon might not look like mine. You might need a little support on the left hip here. You might need to draw your left heel really close into thy crotch. Um, really mindful if you're in need of any of these poses, we have a foundations video for, for all of them. So those videos really break down the postures and give you modif modifications. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, find a fold. Everyone stick with your breath.
Hmm. And then slowly connect to your center, press into the palms, come back up. This time, go ahead and roll onto that left hip. We'll take the left heel in and swing the right leg around. <clears throat> Sole the right foot comes onto the ground, so there's a tendency to just kind of let it spill here. See if you can work to get the sole, all four corners of the feet on the ground. This might take time. And then a little twist here. I'm gonna hug the right knee with the left elbow and swim the right fingertips all the way around. Try to keep a nice big lift in the heart here. Careful not to round through the spine. Inhale in and exhale, release. Great, we're just gonna switch the, the legs here. So right heel comes in and we cross the left foot up and over. Again, see if you can work to get the left foot all the way on the ground and sit up nice and tall. Hug the right elbow around the left knee, and then swim the left fingertips around. Just a little twist here to release the back. Breathe into your belly. Relax your shoulders. And then release and grab your pillow. Yes. This is my actual pillow. This is not a prop. Legs out long, legs out long. That's gonna be, okay, no. Pillow comes right up to the navel here. So if you have a soft pillow like this one is, you might even double up. If you have a bolster, you can use that too. I have two bolsters, but I like to use things that you have in your house to really promote um, you know, this idea that anyone can do this and that this is something different than what we do at the yoga studio. I love the yoga studio so much. Um, my life is so rich because of the community at the studio and, and stuff like that, but this is something different. So own it, grab your pillow, pull it up to your belly, inhale, reach for the sky, and exhale, forward fold. Oh yeah. Same thing as we've been doing all practice. Find that lift in the heart first. Find extension. Inhale, big breath in. And after your extension, we round forward, chin to chest, fold, release. Close your eyes here. We're going to be here for a couple nice, long, beautiful, self-loving breaths. Cultivating a little peace in the body. Restoring. Great for the nervous system here. The hands can grab the ankles or the toes here, or you can go full soften and just kind of release wherever it feels good. Maybe grabbing your pillow even. Take the pillow, slowly roll up through the spine. Just slide the pillow over to the top of the right thigh. And we're gonna draw the left heel in, just a quick Janu Sursasan. So pressing into the sitting bones and I'm just going to kind of think up and over as I fold over the top of the right thigh. The difference here is I'm gonna grab the hand, or I'm gonna take the hands and grab the outer edge of my right leg first. Breathing into the left side body, left hip, and then eventually you can flatten out. Head to knee pose here with the pillow. And slowly roll it up. Switch the legs, slide the pillow to the top of the left thigh. Right heel comes in and you know what to do. Think up and over. Top of the right thigh, grounding down. So today's sequence is, is a great one to learn. You can uh, favorite this video so that you can repeat it regularly and then eventually you'll get all of these in your, in your mind bank, in your body bank. As much as I want you to do it with me, I definitely just want you to have these tools inside. Eventually flattening out, head to knee pose.
And then we release. Awesome. Take the pillow, bring it around, use it for your head. If you're running or walking or jogging or anything like that, and then also balancing it out with yoga, you definitely deserve these next two postures with a pillow. Um, way to show up for yourself. Way to keep moving, right? <clears throat> so come to lie flat, use your pillow wisely, <laughs> get comfy. And then hug the knees into the chest. Almost done here, guys. So nice, strong, full deep breaths. Make them count because you're worth it. And this is only going to help us when we get back, um, you know, in our running shoes, get back on the pavement. So squeeze the knees up towards the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Roll around a little bit. And then happy baby pose. So we reach around, knees go wide, and we grab the outer edges of the feet, and we draw the soles of the feet up towards the sky. So there's really an activation here of lifting the soles up and then grounding down through the shoulders, through the knees. Action point, lengthen the tail, bone, your coccyx, towards the front edge of your mat. And then breathe into all four sides of the torso. Life is good. We're so lucky to have these bodies. Give thanks for your body, for your breath. And then gently release. Soles of the feet come to the mat. And we're gonna turn onto fetal position, whatever side is towards the video here, towards the screen. So your bottom arm becomes a little pillow with your pillow. The knees hung up. Nice curvature in the back body, just a little release for the spine. Hmm. And then last thing before we rest, we're gonna send the legs out long. And top knee is gonna bend, top arm's gonna reach around and grab top ankle, and we come into a little quad stretch here. So you can also roll onto your belly for this if you want more. Mm -hmm. Breathing into the quads, opening up the quadricep opening up through the chest and the heart here. Again, you can also do this on the belly. Sweet, and then gently release. Rock on to the other side. Take that fetal position first. It's nice. Mm. And then extend the legs out long. Top knee bends, grab top ankle, quad stretch on the other side. Where's your breath? And gently release. Roll back onto your pillow. Palms come to the knees. It'll release the back here as you just gently reach the knees towards the front. Arms straighten here. Very gentle stretch. And then let it all go. So you're either going to extend out into Shavasana now, or you're going to close your eyes for one final breath before the video stops. If time allows, go ahead and take a nice relaxation after the video, just letting the nutrients of your practice Soak in, seep in. Rock stars, using the tools of yoga to create strong, healthy practices to support your running, to motivate you, to keep you safe, joints stable and strong. Man, we're rocking. This year is so great so far. Um, I'll see you next time. Questions, comments below, always welcome. Please also check out our runner's warm-up video, and we also have a runner's cool-down video. And I'll see you next time, all right? Namaste.